of the greatest ways that I can think of to keep your grocery budget low is to meal plan. Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, and today's video is all about meal planning for beginners. Now we're gonna start very, very basic at the very beginning. What is a meal plan? A meal plan is simply a plan of meals that you are going to cook and feed your family on a daily, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis, depending on how you grocery shop. There are three different ways that I know of to meal plan. The first is to meal plan for your tastes. So if you feel like having meatloaf this week, you're gonna write it on your meal plan. If your seven-year-old son comes to you and says, I've been dying for hot dogs, then you throw that on your meal plan. It's a great way to be organized and it will help you from ordering out pizza on a Wednesday night because you just don't know what to cook. However, it might not be the best way to meal plan. It might not be the way to maximize the budget that you have for your grocery spending. When you decide on what you want to eat for the week, you fill out your meal plan, you take your grocery list to the grocery store, and you buy, there's a minimal chance that you're going to find something on sale that you've put on your list. It happens, sometimes you get lucky. The pasta for the goulash that you wanna make that week just happens to be on sale. It's a nice organized way to keep yourself on track so money doesn't get wasted on out to eat, fast food, and delivery. It's the meal planning for beginners. 101. So let's talk about meal planning. Why is it that meal planning is so important for a grocery budget? Well, you get home from work and your family is hungry. It's 4.30, you didn't take any meat out of the freezer, you have a couple of random boxes of stuff, you've got a piece of chicken left over, you're looking in the refrigerator like a deer in the headlights, it's just easier just to order a pizza. Or you're on your way home and you think, gosh, I've got nothing for dinner pulled out. So you pull into the grocery store, you run in 20 minutes, you buy a Stouffer's lasagna, bag of salad, and frozen garlic bread, and you bring it home. And you do that night after night. Those are probably the most expensive ways to cook dinner. When you're looking to keep track of your finances, to save money, to be frugal, the last thing you want to do is spend more money than you have to. So there are many tricks and tips out there to help you save money on groceries. Meal planning is one of them. If you're looking for some extra help in meal planning, I have a free meal planning kit that I'm gonna leave the link down below for you. Now, many people will meal plan breakfast and lunch just from a choice of what foods to buy. For example, in our house, we have English muffins, we have eggs, oatmeal, pancake mix, we have cereal. All of those things are always in our house and those are pretty much the go-tos. Sometimes there's breakfast sausage in the freezer, sometimes there's bacon in the freezer depending on what the sale is. There always seems to be cans of hash that my husband loves that I don't smells and tastes like dog food. But we always have things on hand for breakfast. Those things are a staple in our house. They're always here. Lunches are normally leftovers. There's always bread. There's normally stuff to make sandwiches with. There's tuna fish. There's peanut butter. There's jelly. There's cheese. All of those things are always there. So I don't normally plan breakfast and lunches like I plan dinners. Dinners are the big go-to meal. Dinners are the place where I like to have a concept of what I'm eating so I don't backslide into dialing the pizza place or the Chinese place. If you're brand new to all of this and you're not really sure how to start, I suggest to you to either take a scrap piece of paper and divide it into squares that look like a full month's calendar or just number of piece of paper from one to 30. Write down your family's favorite meals. All of the favorites, all of your go-to meals, all of the things that you normally cook on a regular basis. Ask your husband or partner, ask your kids what their favorite meals are or what they would like to have and they haven't had in quite a while, long time. Put it on the list. Make sure you have a good solid list of 30 meals that you can pick from that are your go-tos. And then if you decide to meal plan on a weekly basis, you can then pick four of those meals, then include a leftover or two night, 
and maybe even a date night or a takeout night. Have it planned. I'm not saying you can never do takeout, that you can never go on a date night or you can never have a family night out at Applebee's. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that it has to be planned. Make a plan. Have a fund specifically for dinners, date nights, family nights, or takeout. When I was doing cash envelopes, I always had a date night envelope and a pizza envelope. We went out on date night every other week. The weeks that we didn't go on date night, we ordered pizza. It was just our thing. I knew the money was there. I knew I had the money to pay for it and it just gave me a break. So once you decide on all of those meals and you have those five meals for the week, then you can go forward. Then you can decide what level meal planner you wanna be. These are the three levels. You have meal planning for beginners, I just explained to you how to do that and have the list. And that's meal planning according to tastes. Then you have the meal planning for intermediate, meal planning the flyers, which means you go through the flyers, see what's on sale for that week, and then plan your meals accordingly. Then you have the graduate level meal planning for experts, where you actually are meal planning out of your stockpile. We'll get into all that in a minute. The most important thing to remember is meal planning is essential for making sure you know where your money is going. Especially if you only have, say, $400 a month to spend on groceries, you have to maximize your grocery dollars. This is the way to do it. After you pass your meal plan on a whim system, you've mastered it, you've got it down, you haven't had an unplanned out to dinner event in months. Then it's time to move on to meal planning 201. Before I go any further, I just wanna say thank you so much. If you enjoy this kind of content and you're having a great time, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Meal planning 201 is to meal plan and shop from the flyers. This means that you spread out all of the flyers from the grocery stores around you or you go online and you open the tabs for all of the flyers for all of the grocery stores around you because the Sunday paper is like seven bucks and nobody has seven dollars to spend on sales flyers for Pete's sake. So you open up your tabs on your laptop and you figure out, you got your list and your, or your phone and you're writing down all of the things that are on sale and you're creating a meal plan from the flyers. Now this is a great way to do it because everything that you are planning out to have for your meals is on sale. So you're saving a whole bunch of money just by buying the things that are on sale. It makes perfect sense. And then there's graduate level meal planning. This is where the next level meal planning comes into effect. This means that you have mastered the meal planning, the basics. You've mastered how to shop from the flyers and plan your meals around that. Now it's next level. Now you're meal planning from your stockpile. So you're shopping the flyers every week and you're building back your stockpile. You know when things are going on sale that you are going to stock up on those so you can meal plan from your stockpile. This actually comes full circle. You can now go back to meal planning on your tastes. So depending on what you feel like having for dinner that week, you can shop from your stockpile. If you want goulash, you've got ground beef pasta and sauce down in your basement. If your son wants hot dogs, if your husband wants chili dogs, You've got the chili downstairs as well as the hot dogs and the hot dog rolls in the freezer. Not only that, but you got a bag of chips to go with it and your mom's homemade pickles. This is by far next level. And don't forget, if you're looking for extra help in meal planning, I have that free meal planning kit that I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Thank you so much everybody for watching. I truly appreciate you. Have a great day.